Hello, my name is Caden Brown, and today I will be talking about the tradi traditional French dish known as quiche, and more importantly, the ingredient of broccoli. History and culture of quiche. Quiche is traditionally known as a French dish. Some can also, also say it can be traced back to the medieval Germany. It also was invented around the 13th to 14th century. The dish became popular in England in World War II and then became popular in the United States in about the 1950s. In both of these times, the dish was considered unmanly to most. Nutrient composition for broccoli. These are the nutrient facts for one cup or 91 grams of raw broccoli according to Healthline. There are 31 calories, 89% of it is water. Then there are 2.5 grams of protein, six grams of carbs, 1.5 grams of sugar, 2.4 grams of fiber, and 0 0.4 grams of fat. There are also vitamins like vitamin C, K1, and B9. And then there are minerals like manganese, potassium, and iron. Broccoli's relationship to disease. The vegetable is known to, of prevention against lung, breast, pancreatic cancer, and many more because of the complex compound known as sulforaphane. Broccoli also helps lower cholesterol levels and improve, improve eye health. On the other side, it could contribute to thyroid problems or act as an unwanted blood thinner. Ingredients for quiche. To make quiche, you will need two cups of broccoli florets, which is about half of a pound. You'll need five large eggs, three fourths of a cup of milk, one half of a teaspoon of salt, one fourth of a teaspoon of pepper, one cup of shredded cheddar cheese, and lastly, you will need one nine inch whole wheat pie crust. Agriculture of broccoli. Broccoli is a cool season crop, so it should be planted in the spring for a summer crop or in the summer for a fall crop. Therefore, the availability will either be in the late summer or in the late fall. And broccoli is mostly sustainable, but it does need to be in a cooler climate to grow the best. Preparation for quiche. To start off, preheat, it, preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. First, roll out the pie crust, if not already shaped, and chill until ready to use. Then place one or two cups of water in the bottom of a small pot. Add the broccoli, cover, and bring to a boil. Then cook the broccoli until crisp or tender-like, which should take about four minutes. Transfer broccoli into a colander, rinse with cool water, and drain. Then chop the broccoli into small pieces. Next, in a large bowl, whisk together the five eggs, milk, salt, and pepper. Stir all of those ingredients in with the chopped broccoli and cheddar cheese. Then after that, pour all of that into the prepared pie shell. Baking quiche should take about 35 to 40 minutes or until the eggs are set in the center. Every once in a while, check on your quiche starting at 25 minutes and tint it with foil if the crust is browning too quickly. Once you are done baking your quiche, let it stand for at least five minutes before serving. Tasting of the dish. Personally, I did not enjoy the dish. That even though the texture was good and rich, and I did like the cheese and crust, the broccoli did ruin it for me. The good thing about this is that quiche can be highly customized. Picture of the food. Here's the picture of the quiche that I tried over Easter break. This was at Easter dinner with my aunt. Comparison of culture. Broccoli is known to help prevent cancer. Many family members that I know, like my grandpa and aunt, have had or have cancer. This is important for me and my family to know because broccoli can help us.
In the past, quiche was considered as an unmanly food, but now in 2022, there is no such thing as considered as unmanly foods. And here are my references.